Hello and welcome back to the channel. And we're making progress and now we're on to the painting. So there's not a lot to say about it really, other than we've got magnolia everywhere for the moment, except for that wall, which is newly plastered. So what is 10% mixed with water uh, as per the dual lux sort of instructions and uh, we've just chucked on some pure brilliant white. Now the reason I do that with fresh plaster is white's cheaper than any other colour um, really so I just like to get the first coat on um, and then yeah I've got loads of it so what I'm going to do in this um, video you might see all the painting actually we'll see see how we get on so we need to do the ceiling that's going Dulux pure brilliant white wherever it is down here so there we go Dulux there and then for the walls we're going for this color which actually on camera is a lot darker than what it is in person which is New York City Winter by Valspar now Valspar seems to get when you look at reviews gets mixed ones I really like it you don't get any splatter. Um, yes, it doesn't smell the best, but it goes on really nice. So I actually really like the Valspar paint better than, prefer it to Dulux, but Dulux is sort of the main one, isn't it? So, um, but Dulux, you get a lot of splatter, I find. So yeah, I try and get every color in Valspar if I can. Um, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do on the walls. So what we're gonna do first, get the ceiling done white, in the first coat. I'm going to go over this section where the test pots are uh, just to cover them up a bit more with the white and then we're going to go around the room with the colour for the first coat. Now I'm not going to go amazing with it, we've still got the coving to put up so um, and then I need to cork around and the radiator needs to come back off again so what I'm going to do first coat is just get a coat on everywhere do what i can and then we can get the coving up we can get the skirting board and architrave on um, and then all that can be caught and then we're ready for the second coat so that's kind of a plan of attack and that's what you're going to see probably in this video so let's get going get the ceiling painted and get these walls painted So first coat is on, um, so we've changed the colour from what we originally were going for, which was that too dark, too grey for what we wanted. Um, and as you'll have seen probably in the last video, I already painted behind the radiator, so um, that had to come back off uh, and I did it off camera. So what we've gone for is Valspar, New York City Winter, I think it's called and um yeah it's a nice beige gray color um so yeah first coat is on now what that's allowed me to do is get the architrave on and then what it's going to do is let me get the skirting on so what i've decided is i'm going to cover the skirting in this video as well so what i'm going to do is crack on got my chop saw ready and then i'm going to put a full piece in there just wall to wall and then that piece will be scribed at that end, but just cut to square at that end. This scribed there, flat cut at that end, scribed and flat on that one. That'll be a flat piece and so on. So we'll work through, we'll get going. It's been a while 
since I've done skirting here, or a few months even, for the downstairs toilet. Let's get it on, and then uh, we'll be progressing well to get this room finished. So what you can see among the mess is skirting boards are all cut to a rough length now. So what I'm gonna do is starting up here, I just wanna make sure the wall is smooth behind, rub down, cause it's like there I've filled a little bit. And then I'm gonna get this one stuck on the wall, ready to go. So then that can be set in. Then I'm gonna scribe that corner ready to go around this uh, skirting board. And I have actually got, if I show you somewhere. So that's what I'll be using to mark the end of the skirting board so I can scribe around it, jigsaw it out, and then, uh, then it should fit nicely. So that's what we'll do. We'll get that one on. We'll get this one on. Um, I'll get it scribed because then once it's scribed, I can cut the end off this bit to the right length because uh, it is a little bit too long now, which is what I wanted. Then that will sit up against that wall. That can be fitted in place. Again, checking the wall smooth behind. And then I can scribe this one, cut it there, 45 degree or, or whatever I need to do with this one here. Then them two can be fitted in place. Then that one's gonna be scribed and so on and then we'll just work through the row getting it done. So I'll probably set the time lapse up in the corner and just uh, crack on, get it done. And uh, I might try and get up close on some of the scribe and show you what I'm doing. So let's get it on. Skirting board is on, and you'll even notice we've got most of the coving on. So, didn't record anything on that. Um, we've just got the little bit left to do in and around work, but um, a bit fiddly. So, kind of didn't concentrate on that because uh, it was an after work activity. So, um, yes, skirting is on. You'll have seen we scribed. So, 
cut straight there, scribed one end, and generally scribed one end of every skirting board. That is one full piece, uh, and that's gone on the wall. So what I've been using is grip fill, uh, sort of grab adhesive, uh, or gap filling adhesive, should I say. What I find is that actually works really well on holding. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything, but something else I've found is make sure it's at room temperature before use and uh, it works much better. But then also what I've done is, as you can see there, you just pin them where I can along the wall and uh, it just helps hold them in place, especially in the corners where you, you're scribing them and you don't want them to move and uh, there we have it so i'll try and demonstrate uh, the scribing uh, and the cutting this particular install i've learned quite a lot from uh, the scribing and it's actually only when i got to one of the last few so from that one and i had two more to do that i kind of mastered it uh, and figured out how we're going to do it i'm not saying i'm the best at it at all so Thank you for watching. I'll leave this video here. I hope uh, you've enjoyed what the transformation is becoming uh, for our nursery ahead of uh, our little boy arriving in a uh, few weeks time, I could probably say. So yes, thank you for watching. Please do make sure you subscribe and please do give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying our, uh, our journey as, as we're going along. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.